गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट इन टूडे सेशन वी स्टार्ट विथ अवर न्यू मैथड दैट इज अ कंसिस्टेंट डिफॉर्मेशन मैथड एंड दिस मैथड इज द पार्ट ऑफ स्टेटिकली इन डिटर्मिन स्ट्रक्चर इन फर्स्ट पार्ट स्टेटिकली इन डिटर्मिन स्ट्रक्चर वी लर्न अबाउट फिक्स बीम नाउ इन सेकेंड पार्ट वी लर्न अबाउट कंसिस्टेंट डिफॉर्मेशन मैथड नाउ वाई वी यूज दिस मैथड एंड पर्टिकुलर विच टाइप ऑफ बीम वी अप्लाई दिस मैथड ओके नाउ वी डिस्कस why we use this method and which type beam use uh, analysis of which type be uh, which type of beam use this method okay now why we use this method okay this method is known as our force method and uh, this force method is uh, again we uh, known as a consistent deformation method and this method is particularly used for analysis of prop cantilever beam okay because in cantilever beam if our length of cantilever beam is more compared to is given length then in that condition we use this type of method suppose here i draw one cantilever beam and distance of this cantilever beam is 5 meter suppose someone say me draw the constructs the cantilever beam for 10 meters span it is possible because length is uh, increase of given beam so that deflection will occur at free hand to prevent this deflection here i provide one support and in that condition this given beam is converted into the prop cantilever beam and is this first case it is our cantilever beam and determinant structure si is equal to 0 in second case this beam is converted into the consist uh, prop cantilever beam and converted into the inter uh, indeterminant structure and for that analysis of such type of beam we use consistent deformation method okay now for consistent deformation method here i take again we uh, two figures and according to this method we find out internal forces and also our support reaction for prop cantilever beam here i take a two figure in first figure this is the metal frame used for parking okay look at this this is a fixed end and this beam is hanging like this way and uh, to prevent deflection of the shade here provide support ultimate this beam is converted into the prop cantilever beam here is the second example of curved roof okay again it is used for sitting and this is clamp that means this are this uh, pillars this uh, steel pillars are fixed and to prevent deflection of this length of this curved roof here at free end supports are provided ultimate this is again converted into the prop cantilever beam okay that means consistent deformation method is used for prop cantilever beam and this method is also known as force method now here there are some basic steps for this method one by one we discuss this points first of all determine the degree of static indeterminacy of structure okay that means find out si second make a structure determinate and for that we release support reaction at a given number of roller support okay then draw the deflected shape of given beam and then after draw bending moment diagram for determine structure and convert into the conjugate beam then apply unit load at point where we release the roller support in upward direction and then after draw the deflected shape for that unit load and then draw conjugate beam diagram for given unit load and then find out support reaction by using this equation vb is equal to minus del b divided by del bb where del b is equal to deflection due to external load and del b b due to deflection due to unit load and after find out finding out support reaction finding out moment and then draw sf and bm diagram okay this is the basic step for consistent deformation method first find out si of beam 
then release roller support from given a uh, beam and then convert given beam into statically determined structure then draw deflected shape draw bm diagram with conjugate beam method find out deflection then apply unit load at point where we release the roller support then again draw the beam bending moment diagram for this unit load this is the basic step for conjugate beam okay this is the basic step for consistent deformation method and for consistent deformation method we use the concept of conjugate beam method okay now we start with our example okay now here is our first example of consistent deformation method now before starting this example one by one understand the given data using method of consistent deformation analysis the beam shown in figure and draw the sf and bm diagram for given beam but here ei is constant okay now one by one follow the steps that given in consistent deformation method first find out si mention here si is equal to capital r minus small r because in beam dsi is equal to always zero we find out only and only dsc capital r minus small r what is capital r fix support 3 roller support 1 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 4 minus our static equilibrium condition is equal to 3 Four minus three is equal to one. That means my given prop cantilever beam is indeterminate to first degree, and this is given at this point. Okay, this is my VB. Now, according to our consistent deformation method, again here make a fixed beam and release this support. Okay, right here, release. This redundant. That means extra unknown force. Only and only apply, only and only apply our UDL load. Okay, and at support B release it. Now this load is twenty kilo newton per meter. This is our A point and B point, and distance is given four meter. Now again draw this prop cantilever beam. that is converted into the cantilever beam that means statically determined structure after release if we release this support reaction point b point then our given beam is deflect because here support uh, resisting support are not mentioned so this given cantilever beam is deflect like this way okay so this is the deflection is known as del b and this deflection is due to external load given on span now find out bending moment make a heading here bending moment okay due to external load bending moment due to external load here we plot directly also but here i find out moment for your knowledge now at a point and this is our b point now moment at b is equal to 0 and moment at a that means this point is equal to load distance is given 4 meter 20 into 4 in 4 by 2 and this moment is negative because cantilever beam 20 into 4 and 4 by 2 okay 2 to the 4 that means 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 160 minus kilo newton into meter now draw the bm diagram for this beam here is our a point and here is b point this is our free end so to solve with conjugate beam make a free point to fix and fix point to free and this udl diagram so make a diagram inward parabola okay like this our diagram for udl is equal to inward parabola this is minus and height we find out and this height we given 160 by e i okay and this is my m by e i diagram due to external load okay now we apply unit load again remove the load from given prop cantilever beam a point and apply unit load 1 kilo newton at 
point of releasing support that means releasing roller supports due to this again here make a point this is our b point and due to this 1 kN load distance is given here 4 meter and due to this load my beam is deflect in up direction like this and this deflection is known as del bb now find out this is 1 and moment is here is the distance 4 meters so my moment is equal to 1 into 4 okay so the a point and this is b point plus diagram okay here minus diagram so forces are indicate in upward direction because we follow the cons conjugate beam method again here plus diagram so mention force is in downward direction like this way and this distance is 4 meter and height moment here i write directly okay because it is easy 1 into 4 that means 4 Moment of point load is equal to load into distance. One kilometer into four, and this moment is induced from with respect to this A point. Right hand side anti-clockwise positive. Okay, four by E I, and this diagram is due to due to U D U unit load. Okay, this diagram is due to unit load. Now one by one we find out deflection. Right here, first deflection that is del B. del b is equal to deflection due to deflection due to external load okay now here is our diagram is minus so mention minus here and deflection is equal to area into cg this is inward parabola so right here one third area of one third Into distance four and height is equal to one sixty by e i, okay one sixty by e i, and del b means this point. We find out deflection at this point and c g from this point three fourth into four because it is inward parabola three fourth into four, and my answer of this del b is equal to minus six forty by E I okay minus six forty by E I. This is my first deflection. Now second del B B right here. Del B B is equal to deflection due to deflection due to unit load. That means. This diagram, this diagram is positive, and area into CG. Area is equal to one half into four, four by E I, and take CG from this point. Okay, this is our conjugate beam. So make here fix, and this is free. Now one half into four into four by E I, and CG from this point is equal to two third into four because it is triangle. And from point of apex, so C G is equal to two third into four. Now my del B B is equal to twenty one point three three by E I. It is my second deflection due to unit load. Okay. Next we find out our reaction V B and equation of this V B. as we discuss in theory portion vb right here vb is equal to minus del b by del bb now what is the answer of del b negative sign outside and this is my 640 by e i divide by 21. Three three bar e i, and my answer of this v b is equal to my answer of this v b is equal to we get then we find out v a v a is equal to our total vertical load total vertical load minus v b. 
and my answer of this VB is equal to first we draw the SF diagram and then we draw our BM diagram okay first here our support reaction VA up direction so make here VA is equal to 50 left hand side upward and this VB is right hand side upward down or we can say that left side up 50 and minus 20 into 480 50 minus 80 is equal to minus 30 so just go down here okay and uh, uh, SF diagram of UDL is incline so simply make uh, incline okay like this way this is our plus diagram and this is minus now Suppose here this is the point of zero shear find out maximum bending moment x and this is 4 minus x simply take a ratio x by 30 to 4 minus x by 50 and here my distance x is equal to 1.5 meter ok distance x is equal to 1.5 meter here is the distance x this is the distance x 1.5 meter and this is moment a now one by one we find out bending moment make a heading here bending moment calculation okay now we find bending moment calculation now bending moment at b b support is given roller support and roller support has no bending moment mb is equal to zero now at support here is the MX. MX has a this point. We find this moment from right hand side. Okay, from this right hand side, this support reaction rotate anti clockwise, that means positive 30 into 1.5, and this UDL load is rotated clockwise because right hand side clockwise minus 20 into 1.5 into 1.5 by 2. And my moment at X is equal to 22.5 kilo Newton into meter. Now I find out moment at A. And again I find this moment from right hand side. From this right hand side moment at A is equal to 30 into distance 4. And this UDL rotate clockwise 20 into 4 and 4 by 2. Right hand side anti clockwise plus and clockwise minus. Okay. Right here. 30 into distance 4 and 20 into 4 into 4 by 2 and my moment at A is equal to minus 40 kilo Newton into meter. Now one by one make the point. Okay, this diagram is our SFD diagram and this is our BMD A point. Here is our B point and this is the X point there we get maximum bending moment. Now at A point we get negative moment. So make here this is our at this point our height of moment is equal to 40 kilo Newton. And at X point here we get a maximum moment. Now this cantilever prop cantilever beam subjected to UDL load and bending moment diagram for this UDL load is outward parabola and for below the reference line inward parabola simple we can say parabola okay now connect this from this okay and this point simply moment at B is equal to 0 plus minus and this point is equal to 20 2.5 and this is my BMD diagram for prop cantilever beam ok here our example of consistent deformation is complete now in next section we solve the another type of example for the uh, next session we solve the example of point load ok just now we stop here